Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Cybercraft here, and today I'm going to show you how to download uh, kind of Forge and Shaders mod and uh, Cyber Loader. So it's very, very simple. You're going to have the link in the description. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. There's a link in the description. Click on the link in the description. There will only be one link. Click on this button here. Now you're going to have two downloads. Blue Booger and sh Cyber sh Loader Shader. You're going to click on, you're going to look at this one, and below that, those words, you'll have the view and download. Click on download. If you're using Chrome, you will have a file to start downloading right here. Next thing you're going to do is take this file and drag it onto your desktop. Now you can close out your uh, browser. So you're going to have this file. Double click on it. This is going to open up. Double click on downloads. Now you're, there's going to be something that says cyber loader and we'll have this little cup next to it. It might say dot jar, but this will be the only non folder in there. Double click on that. And it'll say cyber loader. Cybercraft server. So this is basically just Forge except our logo on it. Don't change anything unless you know what it's doing. Then hit, just hit OK. Simple as that. You now have Forge installed. So we're going to click on this. Wait for it to load. Now, like your normal launcher, just go in here and hit Edit Profile. And your, yours is going to be up here, so just click on this, scroll down to the bottom one, to the bottom one, okay? And it will say release 1.7.2 Forge, okay? And I have multiple of those because I have multiple forges. Click on that, hit save profile, hit play. Wait for it to load. This is going to take a little while. Oh, so guys, if you haven't already, subscribe, please, and uh, like the video if you do. Uh, because it's very, very simple to download, and uh, I don't know how this works on Mac. I'll try to do a video on Mac, on how to download it on Mac. Oh, it's loaded. So to know that it's loaded right, you'll have this new button here called Mods. Okay, so now we're just going to hit Quit Game. Easy peasy. Now you're going to open up your Minecraft again. Now you're going to hit Edit Profile. Now, if you would like to go back to sh the newest Minecraft, just scroll back up and you just click on the latest version, hit Save Profile, and hit Play. But if you want to launch, let's say 1.7.4, click on that, hit Save Profile, and launch it. It's very simple. But instead, we're going to be launching Forge. But instead of hitting Save and Play, this time we're going to hit Open Game Dirt. Scroll down the mods. Now this folder will be empty for you. What you're going to do is take the mods from this folder and drag them in to this folder. Simple as that. Now we only have one more step. Now what you're going to do is hit save profile and hit play. So guys, if you had any problems with this, please comment in the description. I'm trying to make these as simple as possible. As very simple and simple, simple as possible. So, I mean, if you need me to do it on Windows 7 or Windows XP, I have two computers. One runs XP, one runs 7. So, I can try to do it on there. They're not really strong enough, though. But it will be the same exact. Okay, so... Now you can see down here we have Optifine loaded, Minecraft Forge, FML, MPC, and Minecraft 1.2, four mods, active and loaded. 
Now I'm going to open up one of your worlds. Now, at first, it does not look like Shader's Mod has been installed. This is actually a house I've been working on recently. It does not look like Shader Mod is installed. That is correct. It is installed. But you can't tell yet. Because we're going to need to go Exit Profile, Options, Shader. Okay? Now hit Open Shader Pack. It's going to open this menu. Go over here, open shaders, drag all these files over. Yay! Now hit done. Now we're going to go into your controls. Scroll down. You'll have this. It'll say key.tut underscore inventory. Click on this and hit tab. Then scroll up a little, and you're going to have this thing called Zoom. I always use Z, but you can change that to whatever you want. That's what's OptiFine. Hit Done, hit Done, hit Done. Now, we're going to go Options, Shaders. Here's Load of Shaders. Now, do you believe me that Shaders is loaded? If you'd like to change it, just go to Options, Shaders, and click on a different one. You can download more on our webs on the on website. Just search Minecraft Shaders mod and then just drag them in your folder. But these these are some of my favorite ones. So I just included my favorite ones. But if you press Z or whatever the button you set it up for to zoom, you can now zoom in. Hi sheepy. Hi 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 hi. How you doing, bro? How you doing? How you doing? See, look how far away he's in now. Now I can see him closer. Yay! The next, the next setting you set up was called Tab, and this will just take you to our Cyber Loader page. Now, right now, for some reason, it says OptiFine disabled, but update your up to date in settings. There are no settings at this point in time because all it, it just basically does things in the background that you can't tell or do, it's doing it. You also have this button that'll take you to the YouTube, to my YouTube. So yeah. Really, really cool. Okay, so guys, that's that's about it. I think it sounded like sorry guys. No, no. So guys, that is about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, it also adds this new grass design. Whoops. So watch this. If I place a dirt there, but then I place a dirt there, look at the difference. If it's right next to grass, the grass grows up on it. If it's not, like in, if like it's in the air, it'll do that. But if you put it like that, look at that. I mean, that is amazing. That is amazing. And also, glass connects. Look at that. Gla real glass connects. Uh, normal glass, like stained glass, does not. Sad, sad part. That's the sad part. But I kind of like it like that because then, like, you can't even tell the glass is there sometimes, like, you can't tell there's glass right right along there except the upper parts anymore. But there is glass there. You just can't tell. So yeah, this is actually a house I'm building. It should be done and we should be able to do a review in about a couple days. I don't know. I haven't been getting much work done on it. But guys, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. I would really really appreciate it. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope it really helped you. And I hope it works. If it did not, please post in the description. What is wrong with it? Is there an air failure? If it, there's an air failure, what does it say? If this is not working, if it's too complicated for you, post in the description if you'd like a tutorial on a different uh, Windows. Uh, now, if you know your Windows, you'll probably have a box somewhere uh, like mine. Just in a sec. Just in a sec.